Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys. Welcome back to the vlog. You're just about to watch some footage uh, from me taking off just outside of Toronto in a little place called uh, Waterloo, Guelph. That's the airport. And a little bit of footage and then we're going to speak in a little bit. Golf Kilo Tango Charlie Hotels at Holding Point Alpha are ready for departure. Tango Charlie Hotel Tower, clear takeoff runway 26, right turn out. Clear takeoff uh, 26, right turn out. Tango Charlie Hotel. Short sure, Romeo Alpha Delta ground, runway 26 is active, the altimeter is 29 or 89. Squawk 5375. Contact me on Tower 1260 when ready. Okay, Rotor RPM is building. There we go. Feeding the power in. Front wheel's going to go light. Aircraft's a bit heavier today. There we go. Off the ground. There we go, we're now off the ground. We're building airspeed up now. Tripping back as we go. Taking a while to climb out. Deliberately not using the turbo. I could do. But there's plenty of power here and I'm fully loaded. Climbing out, ideal climb speed, 65 mile an hour. Give the tower a wave. Still climbing nicely. Almost 500 feet a minute. That's pretty good considering I'm fully loaded. Tango Golf Hotel, find out runway 26. Touch and go. Tango Golf Hotel, tower clear, touch and go runway 26. Clear, uh, Golf Tango Hotel. Now we may have a bit of a tailwind. It looks like we've got a tailwind today, so this could be good. Real good. Beautifully today, beautifully. Lovely and smooth. We're definitely going to have a tailwind. Oh, we've got one. That's it. I like to see 80 knots of ground speed, that's nice. 80 knots is more than good enough in a gyro. GTs and P's are coming up. It's not a particularly hot day, but it's not cold, it's just right. service today guys, nice ham sandwich, which uh, is made at Joe's house, which is quite nice, quite hungry actually. How's it going? Okay guys, here we go. So this is just a little bit of a, an update now. I am currently in Quebec and tomorrow I head up to Settiles. I think that's how you pronounce it. Don't make fun of me if it's not. And then up to Sheffield and then I've got two flights to get up to Kikitajwak. 
that's a long way north from here and then I'll cross over to Greenland I'm actually only 13 flights from home now which is pretty crazy to think I'm 13 flights from home but um, you know some of them are a little longer and it's a fair bit of water but I'm not overly worried if I'm honest uh, considering where I've been and how far I've, I've gone so kind of quite looking forward to it actually let me sit down hold on it's, uh, it's got a completely different feel to the area now which sounds a little bit daft but just the buildings and just everything in general it's a slightly different feel uh, but it's really nice um, so just in terms of a few questions things that I'm being asked I thought I'd answer those now so uh, a common one is what modifications if any have I uh, you know, done to the gyro and the answer is nothing my gyro is a Magni M16 and it's a standard gyro uh, you could buy one tomorrow and do what I'm doing if you wanted to uh, it does have a ferry tank in the back to give me extra range that's about it how far can I fly was a question you, you don't when it comes to flying you don't really do how far you you you, you work off time and I could safely fly the gyro for seven hours <clears throat> and then that distance will depend on on the wind and the conditions that day really uh, but I don't, typically don't fly that far it's it's a real endurance effort sitting in the seat for that long and flying for for that long um, so there you go um, probably if I just filled the gyro up and flew until it ran out of fuel it'd probably last eight or nine hours to be honest but I'd never want to push it that far um, and there's there's lots of variables uh, as well in that um, also people were asking about my speaking tour back in the UK in November so I'll put another link in the description and I think someone was trying to book tickets but they were unsure how to do it each venue once you click into the link has a different link to book the tickets I, I can't get tickets for people it's it's all being this is all being organized by a by a company um, and you have to click on the links to, to, to buy the tickets through the venues um, I believe um, so really looking forward to that that should be really good uh, thanks again there's a couple more donations come in recently uh, for the charity so really grateful for that um, and yeah it's kind of like it's a different feel now it's kind of moving into the end of the project um, yeah I've flown sort of 90% of the way around the world but that last little bit uh, this is where it you know could be challenging we'll have to wait and see I've been looking at the weather a lot recently and it's not too bad it's still a good time of year to be going up to a high latitude and coming around Greenland and Iceland and I've got a lot of good people that are kind of watching me and and looking at the weather as well for me so that that's really quite reassuring I also need to say a big thanks to Joe and his amazing family for hosting me in Toronto well Guelph uh, it was amazing to catch up with those guys so if you're watching thank you um, and today I flew in with the gy gyro Canada adventure uh, people which was pretty awesome and they, they've looked after me and I think we're flying tomorrow morning over Quebec City so that should be pretty good the scenery is really quite stunning here actually. The, 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 lake, uh, the river that effectively flows out into the Atlantic Ocean is Sky at the moment. It's, been, uh, it's been amazing. So, just a little bit of a ramble update there, guys. Uh, feel free to drop me any questions. I'm trying to do my best to upload as much as I can, but I, I think if I'm honest, just like the cumulative fatigue of just been flying like almost full time pretty much for the last five months is starting to catch up with me. So, kind of looking forward to getting back. Not that I'm wishing the time away. It's it's amazing. But uh, it's it's moving into that that last push to to get back. So, but thanks ever so much for all the messages, guys. I really really appreciate it. And as I say, just drop me a line, and I'll always do my best to get back to you. All right, out for now.